What's happening, gang? I wanted to show off my new knife. I had this commissioned by Luke Willie. He goes by Willie Choppers on Instagram. I'll have a link down in the description. I asked him to make me a cable splicing knife um, modeled after the Klein and Gennard tools splicing knife. The blade shape is a little different than this guy, but the principle and, the, and style is there. Uh, these knives are what they give us when we uh, splice cable. The steel is made out of 1095 and the heat treat is absolutely horrible. If you make two or three cuts, you lose your edge almost immediately. Luke made this knife out of 01 tool steel. You can see his logo etched in the blade here. He made it out of 01. It's got a better heat treat, so it should hold the edge uh, way better than those store-bought knives. He's got a hidden tang, so the handle covers the entirety of it. When I'm splicing, oftentimes the cable I cut has power on it. Doing this prevents the metal from showing and my skin touching and getting electrocuted. He also used G10 pins. These are wooden handles. I'm not sure of the exact wood. He's told me before, but I've forgotten. Knife is super light. He put some jimping in it, which is really grippy. Uh, made it pretty much to the same specs as the Klein and Gennard Tools knives. Fairly, fairly on point. Handles just a little bit longer. The sheath on this thing by itself is a work of art. It's leather and kydex. He's got these copper rivets. This thing is just fantastic. I don't want to say the pricing because I'm afraid he doesn't want that really to get out, but uh, most Microtech knives cost more than this did. And this was built to spec, you know. I, I, I told him what I wanted and he made it. And even asked him after the fact to put a snap-on leather ring around it so it doesn't shake around and fall out. He did that at no charge. Again, just super awesome. The knife itself, he put a wicked edge on. This thing is crazy sharp. I've used it a little bit at work. I asked him to put a notch in it also. It needs to be enlarged just a little bit to go a little bit deeper, but for what it is, it's getting the job done for now. Uh, I did use it at work though. I did have to send it back to get that that little buckle put on because as I was using it I noticed that knife kept flexing out and catching on things so that snap on ring is going to prevent that from occurring the way he's made this sheath I can wear it either on my pocket or I can wear it on my belt whichever I choose those copper rivets are just awesome this whole sheath is just awesome the leather the way it the way it feels, the way it's all designed, it's just cool. I don't think I have any knife in my collection that's this classy. It just looks awesome. I'm, I'm I really don't want to use it at work and get it all beat up, but that was the whole point of getting this thing made for me. Just wanted to show this off, let you guys get a look at it. Give Willie a look on Instagram, check out his work. He makes a lot of different types of blades, kitchen knives, um, machete type blades, just large cleaver type knives. And if you ask him, he might make you something a little smaller. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Y'all have a good one.